Good morning, good morning guys. I will let you see how I convert my carport into a garden. I do really love gardening but I only have very small spaces. Actually for a townhouse, the minimum of the carport is just 4x4 four four. but in that space you can still harvest many vegetables for your own food actually i only have four by four size of my carport but instead of putting the car here i convert into a garden since i really like vegetables the area is really too small but believe it or not i already harvested so many vegetables here for a year and i also planted some flowers and mostly little plants that I put it in a container. I usually use container that is recycled, just like the water container, the coffee container, or any that I can put plants in it. So here we go. That's only the spaces I have to have a garden but i still make it good and making food of it most of the day so on the side i line up the tomatoes there are lots of tomatoes but no tomato fruit yet but they already have flowers in that they are started to have their flowers and hopefully they can have the tomato fruits the soonest look at that guys mm -hmm. I put them there because I can easily tie them on that PVC that I put and stand it there so since tomato really needs to be tied if they have already fruits because it's getting heavier and heavier though on that opposite side of the tomatoes i plant okra in each side but i need to tie them because they will lay down if it's windy or if the rain is too much and i have also some string beans from here you know, I always minimize spaces as much as I can put some seeds in that. I do really doing it. And this one, uh, this one, the PVC pipe, really, this one. As you can see, this is a PVC pipe. And I did it because of the locking up space and i love to plant flowers flowers that not really big so that it will not occupy the whole space and i put some spinach in that there that really can climb over on the top and then a little bit scallions uh-huh so depends really how you arrange your plants no matter what spaces you have i also planted scallions and these scallions is half of the scallions that i bought in the market and instead of throwing it near the roots in it i tried to plant it and it really grew pretty well for now string beans also is started to grow good and have already some vegetables in it and just look at that it really hanging on the screen and this one is also growing a little bit taller this is a cucumber but not having fruits yet but they really grow pretty 
The moringa or the horseradish is the most common vegetables in the Philippines. You can see it mostly anywhere part of our country. I have also a Philippine lemon or we call it lemonceto. This one is already bear fruits all year round but it's just not so many but at least I can use it from time to time with its friends here the pepper it really looks so red beautiful this is a Philippine cabbage or we call it pichai as a local cabbage here I already planted that six months ago, but I think I need to replant it. Anyway, I have seedlings for that and ready to transplant. This is newly planted pepper and pichai or the local cabbage. Also over there is a local spinach. We called it alobati and they said it is a super food and also my favorite mint is very easy to grow it can be used into a tea or it can be a natural insect repellent in your garden this is sweet basil basil is an herbs that have a strong aroma it is very good to mix with spaghetti just chop it very fine and put it in the top and it really really good we have also oregano for me oregano is one of the best herbs you can use it to have in your patties for hamburger spaghetti and lumpia shanghai it really indicates the Italian flavor that you are looking for wow my tomato getting red now it's really really pretty I also have Kong Kong this Kong Kong easy to grow here and it's really loved to put it in a beef stove I have lots of new planted partulaca here or the Vietnam rose. I love them because you just put it there and they grow it well by their own. It doesn't need much care and it gives flower. Even it's only half of the day. So I have spinach. Look at that, spinach, 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 spinach everywhere, spinach, because I really love to eat spinach too. And for you to know guys, spinach is a super food. Yeah, actually my spinach looking good last week, but the dog destroyed it. They just want to play here. And on that below of the orchids, I hung some partulaca over there on a pad. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And the end of this side, I put cucumber. And I really love those vine plants to put on siding so that they can crawl a little bit higher and they can give fruits and grow well also. In this part, uh, I put, I dig a little bit on that so that it's, uh, as I said earlier, in this part, I dig a little bit on that so that it will not be elevated on the same portion because I put there a uh, kamuti tops or the sweet potato which we know it's a vine and they will go everywhere so if you have a little space and you still want to have a complete vegetables to eat every day you need to dig a little bit deeper for the put sweet potato or the kamuti tops so that when it will crawl it just stay by its place 
it will not go anywhere and it cannot damage other plants on the other siding also i plant strawberries but for now they don't have strawberries fruits yet but they are growing good healthy and beautiful this is the left side of my garden there are lots of bags over there but that bags contain pichai the pichai is growing also so here also pichai doesn't need a full sand but if you put that a place that lots of sun it really grow bigger and bigger and it gives you a good and big leaves to cook I do really love orchids also but it's kind of expensive and very delicate to take care since I'm a busy person yeah I still have some but not so many they give me flowers from time to time so far they are doing well look at that aside from vegetables this is the flowers around my garden simple but beautiful another strawberry from the corner mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of flower is this it just grow there and I let it be then this is the result flowers some few roses too my white Vietnam rose Roses. I have few orchid flowers this time. Sometimes it blooms many and looking good. There we go, the papaya tree. Wow, the papaya tree having more fruits and fruits this time. It's very good alternative for vitamin C since it is fresh and chemical free which is many health benefits anyway yeah so instead of putting my car over here since this is my designated carport uh, I just try to make it a little more productive since the subdivision here is new and the association officers are not strict yet but if they get stricter and they told me they will inform me that i need to put my car over here so i didn't have any choice that's the reason why as you can see that most of my plants are potted not really potted but i used uh i reused cup noodles um water jug water jar i mean and then everything that i can see that i can put plants in that because gardening is a kind of expensive hobby if you really don't know how to make it a little bit cheaper because there are lots of ways really that you can plant without costing so much even my car is outside the carport i also being responsible in that i just put it here closer to my garden that it can disturb somebody too and some people here still can pass and get through their cars too so that's it for now and hope you get a little tips on how to minimize spaces if you just live in a little area thank you so much and hope you enjoy my video